whose bright stripes and bright stars. Please let this stop. Hello there and welcome back to This Week on Cringe, the series where we have a little sit down and a cry about the cringiest videos from over the last week. And to be honest, there's no other place we can start. We need to talk about Fergie. A few days ago at a basketball game, Fergie performed the US national anthem. I say performed, she fucking butchered it. By the dawn's early light. Before we get into the worst bits of this, Performance. I found out if you played it at two times speed, it sounds like a sheep singing the national anthem at its regular pace. What's so proudly wave at the twilight's last gleaming? It's fucking uncanny, really, isn't it? Whose bright stripes and bright stars? Let's play the pronunciation game. It's not star. It's stars. Stars. Okay. Oh god, Fergie mate, I could do better than this. The fact that she's doing a slowed down version of it as well just drags it out even more. No, you know what, I can't do this. I'm sorry guys, I tried, I promise I tried, I, did. I just can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to leave. Please end this. Who thought a sexy national anthem would be a good thing? I mean, at least people are laughing. I bet Fergie isn't though. She's recently released a statement about her awful rendition in which she says, I'm a risk taker artistically, but clearly this rendition didn't strike the intended tone. It didn't Fergie and neither did you. But I'm gonna stop taking the piss because millions have done so already. Let's get onto a nice little Twitch highlight. Oh, Hey. I didn't think it could get worse than Fergie, but it just did. Imagine being this dad. I'm a very popular person. I'm streaming for 7,000 people right now. I'm a very popular person. That's what comes to your mind to say when your dad sees you dressed up as a maid? Hey dad, I may look and act like a complete freak, but at least 7,000 people are watching me ridicule myself. This man wants to die. For our next clip, we have an Australian dating show where a man takes a woman on a romantic date to the beach. Sounds peachy, doesn't it? Well, it wouldn't have made its way onto this show if it was fine, let's be honest. Excited to learn a little more about you. Spend time, develop memories together. And just keep falling more in love with you. Oh my god, he's so keen, mate. Please stop, you're not helping yourself. <laughs> that kiss. No, 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 no. This was a really fun episode and all. I am gonna leave now. <laughs> You've come so on get... way too strong. There's so much. Coming on too strong. Are you really surprised that you've come on too strong? Have we just been experiencing the same thing here? Now on to Katy Perry, the meme queen herself. She's not the brightest of sparks. And here we have her talking to Neil deGrasse Tyson. A conversation that basically never should have happened. What follows is a dumb person attempting to sound intellectual to an actually smart person. Most people who could be born will never be born will never even exist. So the fact like that- Like sperm. Please get me the fuck out of here. It's pretty much just five minutes of Katy Perry completely ridiculing herself. Number of human beings that will never ever be born. So the few well, of us- Well, is that because there's not enough souls? The correlation between sperm and souls, something that was hitherto unknown by the world of modern science. The ingredients of your body are found everywhere in the universe. So what- God, even she knows how bad this is. That sigh hurt me on another level. Let's move on to some comedy. That'll help lighten up the video. A lot of actors always brag, especially when we're sitting and holding, they're always bragging. And one time I just couldn't take it anymore. So listen, we're sitting right next to each other. So just please be, please be quiet. You need your conflicts. But the problem is, he didn't have conflict. Hold on, I'm, I'm struggling to find the joke there. He didn't have conflicts. He didn't have conflicts? Maybe it was just a dad. Let's move on. The director kept screaming, cut, cut! But I'm a comedian, so I couldn't take it. So I said, excuse me, can we have a little break? But the problem was, we were still shooting. Yeah, no. I, I know at this point I've done this gag like two times. I really feel like I need a break. And finally for today's video, we're going to be talking about the worst best man speech ever. Best man speeches are tough. You've got to keep it PG because there are kids there, but you've also got to try and make the adults laugh. Let's see how this man gets his one started. I used to cry when I masturbate, but now I have sex with my wife. Thanks, marriage. And right there, you've already broken the rules of a best man speech. Damn amateurs, all of you. No. She certainly doesn't swallow anymore. But once a month, she lets me put it in her pooper. He's still talking about sex at a wedding. And then to top it all off, this happens. When I first, hey, how are you? Mama Jane has had enough. Oh my God, she even rips it up. This is iconic. I guess, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, 
Congratulations. And there we go, the best part of his speech. Well done, man. You got there in the end. But anyway, that's enough for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you're new or have not done so already. And I will catch you next time.